Because you are required to prove this, right? You can't use this as a starting point and then take tan of both sides, right? Because then you've assumed what you're required to prove, right? So you absolutely cannot take tan of both sides of this line. You will take tan of both sides eventually, okay? But that can't be your starting point. So the easiest way was to say, look, these guys here, right? I'll work with these two. I can simplify them and then get over to this side rather than the other way. I can think of them as angles. Right? I can situate them as angles in a triangle. Okay? So you would say, you know, let that equal x, let that equal to y, and then you can draw a pair of triangles, right? Here you'd say, well, tan x is going to be two-thirds, right? So then you draw your triangle, you'd say, well, okay, I'll stick x over here, opposite on adjacent, two, three, that makes this the square root of 13. Okay, so there's one of the um, angles I'm going to need. And then over here, I can say, well, oops, sorry, not 10. Cos y is equal to 2 on root 5. So you've got your triangle. You stick y over here. So adjacent on hypotenuse, which gives you 1 over there. Yes? Okay, so now you can consider, right? So this is your starting point now. You can say consider tan of x plus y. Right? So because they're angles, you can just consider this as the expansion. Really, really easy. So this will be tan x, tan y, 1 minus. OK. So this is by far the easiest way to harvest it out, rather than trying to do tan of cos inverse and anyway. It did work, but I think this is much more straightforward and much simpler. And it's not like it took you a long time to do it either. OK? So once you read it off all out of here, you ended up with the right fractions, <coughs> excuse me, um, two-thirds, now by the way, just as a side note, this is a proved question, right, show, sure. just like so many of them are, and there are three marks devoted here, so you can't simply say, at this point, I know this is going to be 7 over 4, even though it is, right, that's cheating, <laughs> you have to show it, okay, so this line here is critical, to actually show that I know where all of these come from and I read them off these triangles, okay? Then it does simplify out. Tan, oops. Right? And so now you can take tan inverse of both sides. Tan inverse of both sides, okay? On this side, you just get x plus y, which is this. And then on the right-hand side, you'll just have tan inverse of 7 over 4, which is what you needed, right? So can you see, even though the maths like the crunching ends up much the same. Your starting point, something like this, sets the solutions apart. Okay, it sets apart the people who know what they're doing and the people who are struggling and think, hmm, what can I do with this? I know I'll just... Okay, so watch out for that. <laughs>